Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of Super Calling Gaming Super Smash Brothers Spring Break Browser Amiibo Challenge, where you will notice that we have defeated Spring Break Bowser, so he is no longer on the roster. Look at us go! Yeah. Boom! We are making such progress. Boom. We have, I don't know how many episodes we've done the Amiibo Challenge, but we have two victories. We're like two and 20 or something. That can't be right. Anyway. Yeah. It feels right. It feels right. Feels right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. I good. we're in the 30s. Well, but not for the Amiibo Challenge. Oh, that's fair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, for right, Smash right. in general, perhaps, but, mm -hmm. you know. Anyway. Today, hopefully, we shall take down another one of our deadly foes. Uh, Jordan, who's going first and who are we facing? I rolled a one for who's going first, so that is you, Oh, Jay. that's me! I'm going to go with Ganondorf no matter what. <laughs> and I rolled a two for oh, who we're facing. Oh, Professor Mewtwo. X. Mewtwo! I've actually beat Mewtwo in the offseason before. So have you now? I have, with uh, Incineroar. <laughs> AKA in between writing videos here at the yeah. office. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my standard and stand up. Nope, All right, he's up. and he's, he's gone. He's over here. Don't talk to me. <laughs> he's left. Just, he's basically like in a different room. Oh yeah. yeah. What color Ganondorf? Here we go. I think ice cold. Ganondorf. Ooh yeah. Ice cold Ganondorf. Ice cold. Kind of in celebration of the recent Game of Thrones. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. White yeah. Walker, doesn't yeah. yeah, very white Walker. Hey, All right, here we go. Game is afoot. The game is Actually, the fun. I just beat, uh, I beat Mewtwo with Pikachu yesterday, so it's, it's doable. So you got, I feel like you got Mewtwo on lock. We shall see, Shankly. We shall. You got nothing. Alright, so we have a question today. Um, the specific one I'm going to read is from Jay Lee K, but there was also a Karen Choi in the comments who asked something similar, as well as a handful of others. You know what's oh, coming. Oh, jeez. Hey guys, I need some advice. I'm sort of in love with this guy who's uh -oh. my friend. Oh, he might geez. like me, or he might just be acting like a guy. How can I tell the like, difference between that? the two? Acting like a guy? Yeah, yeah. We've been friends for a little over a year now. We trust each other a lot. We do loads of stuff together. He teases me just because he knows it makes me upset. Also, oh, no, maybe this... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, maybe this helps. He knows that Pottermore says, and I think that I am, a Slytherin, but he keeps calling me a Hufflepuff. So what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> he really does. Uh, I mean, have you tried, and hear me out here, um, okay. asking him? Oh, yeah, interesting and bold strategy, yeah. Derek. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. It's, mm. okay, the real question whenever this uh, particular topic comes up is like, is there a way to do this without jeopardizing the friendship? Nope. And if, you've, if you put yourself out there. All right, we're looking good. See, I, I disagree that, that it has to jeopardize the friendship. Like, it's, if you... It's not going to be it, jeopardized. I'm not saying ever, that... But it's going to be awkward for a hot second if I'm, they don't like I'm not it. saying it's going to ruin the friendship. I'm saying it's going to jeopardize it. That's, yeah. a, that's a fair way. Oh, it, that is a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah it'll, like, it'll put like something... It, it's, it's putting strain on it, yes. It doesn't mean that it's going to be just done. Sure, sure, oh, no. sure. Recover, recover! Oh, no! Well, it recovers all day. Oh, come on, Jay. You got this. You got this. I mean, the question with with all of these that I would ask the, the question asker is, if this person doesn't have romantic feelings for you, do you still want to be their friend? If the answer to that question is yes, then tell them how you feel. And if they don't feel the same way, then just be like, okay, okay but I need to get... I have to disagree because it's like you can, you can think that the answer would be yes, but you may also find that once you put yourself out there, that's like becoming vulnerable and when you're vulnerable with people that typically does oh, open up yeah. and oh my gosh yeah. dang Whoa. jay in a row? it's Bro. it's the standing it's the standing oh, it's, it's the, the ganondorf standing. figured out the secret formula yes. jay insists that the rest of us are not allowed to stand which is clearly why <laughs> our performance stand. has been significantly lessened do whatever oh goodness so um, now do we have to do we have to re-roll for a new a new person, or do we? No, also? I want to see how many. Ooh, well, hmm. what did we do last week? Last, last week, week you, you guys still played. Continued to play him out. Okay, I'll continue to play him out. There it's on. Go. It's on. Bring it. Ben is also standing. Ben I'm gonna, is standing. He's a off vertical the side. position. Um, um, but what I was gonna say though is like, really, with any relationship, whether it be a friendship or um, a more romantic element, the idea of vulnerability is one thing that absolutely like really develops feelings. In either direction. Yeah, absolutely. And so it's like a lot of times, I think, if you do put yourself out there, Jordan, 
It's like even if you think you can be their friend afterwards, it may it may have exposed you in such a way that it's like. Not that I'm suggesting they don't do it. I just think it's something to be aware of. Yeah, it would be, you know, that, that's that's the way it could go, right? How do you does you two do that sparkly move? That is his uh, neutral air. I kept on trying to do that. Oh, so it, all you do is well, just in mid air without pushing any direction at all. You just press like mm, attack. You're just pushing a direction. I'm not realizing. Yeah, that. it can be um, tricky. So. To, to follow up on what Ben said, that like essentially oh. it makes you vulnerable and it, it can be hard to do that. Do you not feel like you're vulnerable with your friends sometimes? Like I'm a closed door. Closed door. Closed door. Nobody gets to see any yep. of my actual feelings. Love is feelings. a closed door. That's the song. FYI. Yes. Love is a closed nope. door with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. That's I would hear that remix. Um, Oh, 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 how'd he do that? That, Come seemed on, like, bummer. that seemed like malarkey if I ever saw it. Yeah, Watch your malarkey. <laughs> but like, I think, it, <laughs> and, and certainly I'm, I would be vulnerable in different ways with a romantic partner than with a friend, but like, there are definitely things where, especially in this particular situation, where, quote, we trust each other a lot and do loads of stuff together. Like, probably they're already being oh, yeah, vulnerable it's like, with each other. So in yeah. this situation. Right. Says. Oh boy, yeah, you I, got him. I mean, Boink. I that's personal thing that there's value in uh, just talking to them and being like, hey, uh, I feel this way. Do you feel this way? Because I feel this way. Right. Uh, but like, you can. It's it's, it's often, possible for things to develop anyway. Right. But I think that you're just going to be better off being much more upfront with oh, yeah. uh, what's going on for you. Yeah, I, it can be the case sometimes with this too that like, nice. you don't, you, you're like, you don't want to tell the other person you like them because then maybe they'll like you just because you told them. Like, oh, like it's... That's also know. a thing that happens, especially when you're young. You know, like, yeah, like, oh, do you just like me because I said I liked you? Or, I don't, I don't there, know. There is, like, a, a weird thing when you're... Especially, I think, when you're really early on in sort of, like, your romantic life. When you discover... Like, the, the endorphin hit that somebody likes you is pretty is pretty massive, yeah. and it's hard not to uh, yeah, fall victim like, to that. Yeah, like, you, you'll wonder about it no matter what. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. If you ask this person, even if they say no, they're going to keep thinking about it. Yeah. Um, have any of you either told a friend that you had feelings for them or been, been told in a situation you're willing to share, I suppose? Oh, um, man. I mean, yes. Or were you friends with yeah, your current yeah. significant other before? Oh, no, I was not. I, not Allie really. and I were pretty much always... Um, I had that same kind of situation where she was told me that she likes me. A friend of mine was like, hey, just take a chance on it. Something could happen. And we dated for seven years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's great, sir. That's a, I mean, that's... Sounds like it was a good chance to take, overall. <laughs> <laughs> or it was seven years wasted. Listen, yeah, I mean... Did you learn things? Uh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, there you go, Ben. You, you can do this. You can do this. Can we have a twofer? He's got some extra credit up here yeah, right I now. Hope we, I hope we don't have a twofer, because that means that then we get, I, I then, try to get the three for Oh, yeah. That's right, Derek. Then you'd be in three for a Oh, then you well, made think up the distance. I think he's going to have it. Um, there was a, a guy who I knew right before I started grad school. Um, and like we had gone out a couple of times, oh, nice. and it, it never really oh, took off. I think it was mostly that like Jeez. he was in an MD-PhD program that took a lot of time. Sure, sure, um, sure. So that didn't work so much, but then we ended up being on um, on the Grad Student Association oh! together um, and so saw each other many, many times a week and I realized, oh hey, these feelings haven't particularly gone away. Um, and I, I approached him with it and he was like, mm, nope, I kind of got over that the last time we tried to date, sorry. And it was really awkward for like two weeks. Um, but then, oh, come like, on, you the that. friendship oh. survived, which was awesome. And I was very glad. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh, no. no, man, so that was so close. You almost had it. Oh, man. Uh, sorry, I'm Brad. Sorry, guys. Thank I'm you sorry. for taking the pressure off of me. I know that's why you did it. Uh, it's, oh, that was it, Derek. Yeah. Everybody knew it was a shoe in that I had it. Uh -oh. oh, my gosh. But before Derek takes over, let's take a quick pause for today's Patreon sponsor of the day. Today's sponsor is 
Bonnie, whose message says, Lucas, my sweet boy, it's been four years since I found you. You've walked beside me through so much. I saved you and you saved me so many times. Mommy loves you, Lucas. Aww. I'm oh, sure Lucas is, is appreciating that. No, wherever you are, Lucas. <laughs> so very much. Because Mother Lucas sure you. is a good boy. Lucas <laughs> sure is a good boy. Oh man, for those of you who don't know, we had Bonnie uh, sponsor the channel for such a long period of time. Uh, yes. Always talking about Lucas, her, Lucas, and Alexander. Lucas and Alexander, who we thought to be children. Turns out they, they are, are, but fur babies. Uh, they're yep. doggos. Doggos. Yes. Doggos. Thank you, Bonnie, so much for your sponsor message. If you guys would ever like to be your sponsor, or, wait, to be a sponsor of the channel, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Gaming, uh, and it is one of the tier levels there. Mm -hmm. That it is. Uh, fun, fun fact about Lucas and Alexander, there is currently a Pokemon on the Nuzlocke team named after them. Hey! It's named Lucasander. Perfect. Lucasander. Lucasander, yeah. It's Honestly, a Brontosaurus. Um, she, uh, Bonnie posts pictures of the puppers in uh, the Discord fairly often, and they are so freaking cute. Like, I, I just want a dog so badly. That's, that's I'm surprised you don't have one. I mean, I'm still renting. And, and I'm seriously considering getting a dog when I am not renting anymore in a couple of months. Yay! Yeah. Hey. I want a dog. Um, what were we even talking oh, about? Boom! Being, being there you in, go, Derek. You in, can do it. Into sure. your friend slash best friend. Being in Larb. In Larb. Being in Larb. I would like for him to just die. Right? Could you, would you? Okay, so we get this question a lot. Do you guys think that there are ever times when people are mistaking what is just the feelings of like a quality friendship? for something oh. else. Hmm. Like where it's like, man, this is a person I feel really comfortable with. Like I like you think you like them because it is what is otherwise a great friendship. Right, it just happens to be that your friends who are about um, sex. I mean, I feel like that can make a fine relationship. No, often it can. Oh, it, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think ultimately I, I feel like this has become a, almost even like a potentially overused phrase in- uh, Go away! Wedding yeah, vows. Way to go, dude! Is, uh, yeah. uh, you're you're my best friend. Right, like I get to marry my best yeah. friend. Well, yeah. certainly that should pretty much be the case. Mm -hmm. hey, oh, oh, oh! oh, oh, I oh thought you might have there too. might have been like a good freebie good there. Spike there for you, yeah. Um, he's going sparkles on you. He's, he's going sparkles yeah, on it, me, and I'm. I think maybe part of that. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Um, uh -oh. Yep. You know, at at the risk of getting a little <laughs> deep, is is just how we of society it. have sort of ranked romantic relationships as being higher or more important than friendships even from an early age like even little stuff like you know a, a baby is smiling at someone and they're like oh you know he's flirting with you or things like that it's like should relation should romantic relationships be viewed as more important than friendships because like hypothetically you're gonna have lots of really, really good friends throughout your life, but ultimately most people have one long-term romantic partner. Sure. Well, so I think I think the thing is there is that they're like, oh, nice. it's it's not really comparing apples to apples. Like, um, right. I think at the end of the day, and the thing that you slowly uh, like that all people might start to realize as like all of their it's high so school and college like, friends. Look at this. I'm not doing anything. I know. He's just like it's fascinating. He's like baiting you out. Um, yeah, as all of your high school and college friends and people you feel really close to start developing their own lives, almost always it seems like you kind of get this this feeling of fallout because all of a sudden they're prioritizing their home situation maybe over over the other. Maybe that's part of your point there, Jordan. But um, mm -hmm. I think I think because so much of what makes you you is is very frequently your immediate family. Um, it's hard for it to not be the case. Mm -hmm. I'm, and I'm not kind of necessarily <laughs> saying that it's it's a bad thing that there's so much emphasis on romantic relationships because you, you don't live with your friends for the rest of your life. Right, right. Um, yeah, the, the immediacy of those people is... Derek's got it. Listen, it. <laughs> if it works, hey, it works. You're Music grinding, going it's down. working. You gotta get him in the full trap. You gotta get him the third one, that's the strong one. Yeah. It's amazing how you're just like under like a little cover here. Yeah, and he's just like, I don't know there what to is. do. What do I do? I'll get to him. <laughs> that is 
a strategy that is uh -oh, working. He's found a way. I'm in on that. Whoa, that was crazy how you did that, Derek. <laughs> Thanks. Such such good dodge. Whoop. Oh. Uh, what? Boom! There it is. Nice. Oh, they were gonna grab him again. Uh, Jay, Jay, and Derek, you guys were were quiet through that. Where where do you chime in on the importance of your immediate relationship versus friendship relationships? Oh um, boy. I mean, as I, you're younger, it seems like friendships are almost more important because like a lot, many relationships will come and go, but your friends will stay constant. But of course, as you like get older and you found like more of the one, it's sort of like, there's an obvious, a natural shift there. One of the things with uh, romantic relationships is very often, not always, and like there's exceptions obviously, but that's also where babies come from. And that happens to be a pretty big part of your life. So yes. like that is a big portion of it. Mm -hmm. Sort of the biological imperative that we have to procreate. Yep. Um, oh my god. Oh. Alright, I don't know what happened. Derek, <laughs> you've got some extra credit on him though. Yeah. You can do yeah. it. Just a little. That's all you need. Come back over here. I liked how we were playing before. <laughs> <laughs> Flip this game. Um, uh -oh. It's sort of related to, to friendships. Nope. So, something that I've been a little... I guess anxious would be the right word to describe it, but I'm also an anxious person, just in general. <laughs> what? Don't, no, what? Jordan, don't be ridiculous. No. Um, but I, I worry That's sometimes exactly because... exactly what you should say to anxious people, by yep. the way. Uh, in, <laughs> in outside work times, I feel like the friends with whom I have been spending time have not been all of you quite mm -hmm. as often. Like... That's okay. And, right. and part of me is like, well, I'm not investing as much time into these friendships, but also like... I get to see you guys all day. Yeah. And yeah. while, yes, we are working, it also definitely feels like friendship points are being put in as well. At oh, least yeah. For I mean, me. I, I think that's the way that this office operates is that everybody, you know, we, we get lunch together every day. We hang out. Right. But, like, you know, we, we goof off a lot in this space. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think, I mean, I, I absolutely oh. spend more time with you guys than probably I do any other yeah. people in my life right. other than Allie. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like in particular I have this weird. Uh, this comes up between me and Ben a lot, where like we we spend like literally all day every day together more or less until we go home, and then oftentimes like like you're still like my best friend outside of work too. So if it's like I'm gonna go hang out with people, you're probably involved. Right, right, right. But yeah. it also means we have very little to update each other. On. Oh, it's, <laughs> right. it's like I already know everything. Yeah. yeah. Although on the flip side, that means that you can like potentially have deeper discussions or, or things like that since you don't have to go through updates? Yes! Oh, woo! We no did way! it! Oh well, actually, everybody goodness. did it but me. To be but fair, we did it! you two is maybe just a little bit dumb. <laughs> I don't know. He has defeated us a fair number of Oh, yeah, that's true. You know out. what's funny? Ben has defeated me two offline. And... So, so really, you've all defeated him before. Oh yeah, Every, thank you, thank you, Jordan. Him that does make me feel better. In like, some just because you didn't do it on on record doesn't mean you haven't defeated him. I'm gonna Ooh, I'm gonna right. put that next to my my blue ribbon for participation. <laughs> that was, that was good. Yeah, I mean, you were very very close. I feel like I had, I had a couple of whoopsies. Yeah, still all good. Right. You guys can't see it, but I'm putting you two on the shelf of glory. Oh my gosh, yeah, the shelf. You might not be able to hear yeah. it either. But Jake just said you probably can't see it, but I'm putting you two on the shelf of glory. Yes, so we there now have we have Zero Suit Samus, Bowser, and Mewtwo on oh, the man. shelf of Whew. glory. Uh, we do actually have a new amiibo that has not yet been trained up who maybe will be introduced here in the shortly. Perhaps, yeah, we should do it just so it's not down to down to uh, three. Down mm. to three. Three. But hopefully eventually we get down to one. Lest we get new amiibos in the mail or anything and then a whole new problem. Yes. Well, people not, definitely a, talk to me about sending more, oh, so well, I'm not going to spoil go. anything. Well. Okay. <laughs> Super oh, duper. Amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you need advice on anything in particular, uh, make sure you leave it down in the comment section down below, uh, especially if you need advice about being in love with your best friend, because that's definitely not the question we get all the time. <laughs> not at all. 
just listen to this episode again, right? There you go. <laughs> now we're we're happy to tackle everything. Of course. Uh, and keep in mind that Jordan is the one picking the questions. So yeah. sometimes putting her name first, I'm not going to say it goes a long way, but it doesn't not go a long way. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's, uh, that's all I can really say there. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos as well. But until next time, show the cannons, show the cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. <laughs>